What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video and today I really want to discuss a very simple option that everybody can do especially if you're using a PC client like Polarium Play and it's really going to enhance the clear times of your dungeons, your Doom Tower, your Faction Wars and just an overall better experience whilst you're playing this game right? And we're not just going to talk about PC players, I'm also going to talk about how to enhance your experience whilst playing on mobiles and emulators such as Bluestacks and LD Player, right? So why are we in the Fire Knights dungeon? Well, this is a team that I recently put together and my average times was around 1 minutes 40 to 1 minutes 50, right? And it was just blowing my mind like, what am I doing wrong here and why am I not getting the results that other people was getting using the same team the same stats and so forth and it's just one simple answer and that is fps and you may be sitting there thinking how is frames per second going to affect my overall clear times in these dungeons just by changing one simple setting and i tell you what it's more than just five seconds or six seconds i'm seeing sometimes 40 second changes that is just insane and if you think about the amount of time that we're putting into raid on a daily basis because of course we all have to play raid every single day right and to drop these times down as you can see here best time 107 just from changing my frame rate so how can you do that and this is very important for newer players or people that's just not aware of this right they've been playing for a long time and they just haven't visited the options tab in game and even me i was guilty of this until recent times when I was on stream and my boy Fisher was like yo YST get that frame rate limit up to unlimited and we're going to be seeing better results and he wasn't wrong in doing so now this is what you're going to see on a mobile phone so just ignore unlimited for now now just make sure that your frame rate limit is taken up from 30 to 60 fps on mobile devices or emulators like bluestacks because I don't believe the unlimited is available on there but correct me if i'm wrong so just by doing this you're definitely going to see an enhancement of your graphics and an overall smoother gameplay now the second you take it to unlimited this is where you're going to see the crazy results and if this is the first time you're seeing this it's going to blow your mind of how much our clear times are going to be reduced now one thing i want to see before we move on into the next run and showcase the improvement of times just take this as how great your PC can perform and just make sure that your PC isn't overloading or overheating because you may run into some overloading issues when putting the unlimited frame rate setting but it's a great way to get around this and that is to limit your frame rate on your PC so you can use some of these control panels for example and drop it down to maybe a 90 frame limit as a cap and you're still going to see a great improvement from that 60 fps right so yeah if you're not limiting your pc it could push potentially 120 to 150 which is fine but it just comes down to the performance and the quality of your individual pc builds so you could potentially go ultra as well but i'm just a fan of the high quality personally so what we're going to do now is we've changed those settings we're going to go into the finite dungeon the same run and i want you guys to pay close attention to the times and also the animations now this just blew my mind because when i was doing these runs i was like why is it not performing the same as other people with the same stats and the same masteries and it was literally this one simple change that i seen as an oversight and i've been playing this game for years it just never crossed my mind that it would increase my times to such like an amount right of like 30 to 40 seconds so taking 30 percent of all of your run times it's huge when you think about your day-to-day -day grind when you're playing this game. Dungeons, tournaments, the faction wars, the doom tower. Time is at the essence when you play raid. So definitely do it if your PC allows you to. Or get that 60 FPS on your phones. So here we go. We're coming through here. Let's go with law. Get some more poisons out. And now I'm seeing around a 1 minute 7 to a 1 minute 13 ish as an average, which is a huge jump. Huge, literally. And I'm really happy with this now. 
So let's see if we can get a best time here. Don't think we are. Our best time was a 1-7. But look at that. 1 minute 13. I've done everything live for you guys. I haven't gone and enhanced my PC overnight or something. So 1 minute 13 from that 1 minute 40, I believe, in that previous run. It's just bonkers. And you can carry this into all of the dungeons. Even the clan boss. I used to do my one key ultra nightmare in around 23 minutes, I think, to 25 minutes. I put it on last night and it went straight down to 17 minutes. So I'm saving an average of five minutes per clan boss run just by putting unlimited frame rates on my PC. And it's an in-game setting. You don't have to go to external programs or anything like that. It's in Polarian Play for you guys to rock and roll. Now, even my stage 24 dungeon, this used to take me 1 minute 20 seconds to 1 minute 15. And I'm, I've now got a best time of 50 seconds. So yeah, it's really important that I showcase this to you guys because you may be watching these videos online, replicating these compositions, and it's not performing to the capabilities that you're seeing on screen. And I just thought it's really important to showcase that in a separate video for people just coming into the game and if you just if you wasn't aware right now there is another tip i want to showcase it's nothing as insane as this but it's definitely getting enhanced in performance especially in dungeons and the doom tower so let's go get some more poisons out can we get a best time here it's looking quite promising if dark hill gets a relentless proc oh it's getting close Ah, oh, we didn't get it. We nearly had it there. So 51 seconds. Whereas before, 1 minute 15 as my best time. So a 25 second decrease on my dragon. And if you go into Ice Golem, my C is 25. 55 seconds. Whereas before, it was 1 minute 14. Even my spider runs. 25 seconds. From previous videos, I showed 30 seconds. It's just crazy. I'll do this one for you as well. And then we'll go into the next tip of how to improve your um, run times. So boom. Watch the animations of everything here. It's just crazy. Look at that. Like it seems so simple and everybody should know this. But if you don't know this, I still think it's really important to talk about personally. So here we go. Heart Seekers out. Let's wait for the burst to tick. Well, we got a spider link die there, unfortunately. But 28 seconds. Not too bad whatsoever. Now we're going to talk about tip number two, and that is going to be team presets. Now, in recent times, wasn't too long ago, um, they implemented round one, two, and three, if you're not aware. Now, what this allows you to do is, on each wave, you can tell your champions what to do and what not to do. For example, on wave one with my Prince Kaimor, I don't want to use my reset. Whereas if you just set it on normal and you're not setting these round 1, 2s and 3s, he might be resetting on that first cycle. So when you get to wave 2, that skill is not up to do, right? So then on this wave round 2, I can now do Seal of Magic. And I know that all of my champions are going to have their skills resetted for wave 2. Then on wave 3, I want to reset again. And I can kind of carry down to all of your champions and all of your teams. So make sure you guys are revisiting this. Make sure you're doing your team setup correctly. And you're really going to see better times overall when you're doing dungeons and the Doom Tower. 100%. Um, last of all, of course, it's a bit of a simple one. But just make sure that people like your campaign farmers are built to do something for those roles. What do I mean by this? So someone like a Biggin or a Bellower has AoE on all of their abilities, right? And this allows us to clear those campaign battles a lot more efficiently. So make sure that your champions have A1s or A2s or all abilities with AoEs. Make sure you're stacking them for pure damage and the right speeds. And you're going to be able to get a more successful campaign run. So yeah, that's the three things I wanted to talk about today. Nothing insane, but I really wanted to bring light on it for people that wasn't aware. We're going to end the video off with one little ancient shard. Here we go. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.